Well, welcome back to JML7. This time I have a whole commentator, not solo coming. So we have um, Yo Selby versus Nick. And I'll just give them the go. You guys are good to start now. Oh. Yeah, this should be a winning matchup for Seth, right? Um, I don't think I've actually seen this matchup before, so... Uh, I'd probably say based on what I know about both characters that Sephiroth's probably gonna do better. But, um, I mean, I can imagine that like Zelda could reflect like the Giga Fair or something that could be really Wait, can, can Zelda reflect the, the books? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually. Oh, okay. It is reflecting. Yeah, 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 you guys can go. Alright, we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, how are you liking the, um, the modded PSP setup? Oh, there we go! 47! That's insane. Oh um. uh, yeah, okay. oh, it is what it is. Yeah, Yoa Selby is um, having, a, having a difficult time right now in the first round. At 11, 111. Perhaps Nicole is familiar with this matchup. Oh, scary. Oh, okay. Beats the spot dodge, I guess. Um, I managed to get the. Yeah, I managed to get the first stock. Oh my, the shield break. Oh no, wait. Uh, I mean, the shield break. Oh no, wait. I mean, I feel like even if Sephiroth misses that, you're still gonna like take a lot of damage from the shield Ninety percent. That's that, that's super scary. I think in general, Yosobi is doing a really good job at just beating um, Nicholas Habits, even though he hasn't even really been showing his defense habits too much. Catches a spot though with the first one, and I think for the rolling with the second one. He wants to this game out already. Really, he's so good job. Nice parry though. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, Nicholas definitely not on. Um, Maybe spoke too soon, yeah, but that, that. definitely um, <laughs> firing back with a lot of good stuff. Like got a couple parries already in game one. So yeah, I'm people had a really forward. strong start, so if they can keep that up, yeah. Forward yeah. to seeing if people that adaptation from now on. Definitely was catching up. So a really strong start with that immediate reflection of Zephyroth's yeah, side. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I, I think they're both quite confident on uh, characters. I'm pretty sure Mikkel main Zelda. Uh, Yellow Zelda also has a really good Junker. So, could possibly see that come out later in the set. Now, um, yeah. I need to game to back on PS2 again. Start the battle! Zephyroth! Zelda! Unwent was pressure, 75%. percent Oh wow. Really, really clean first stock in Bell Kill. Definitely knows how to um, pressure with the range on like there and there. As well as like going in for like the grabs when um, it's, it's, really, it's really dangerous. That platform, but 
really dangerous spot to be on against Sephiroth. Uh. Oh no. I like the idea though. Perhaps you have to do it a, yeah, maybe a bit later would have worked. Kind of surprising. I don't know that that timing would have worked, but I guess it's a bit. Oh nice. I just to catch the jump if I grab. Oh wow. That was a really good Din Spide um, mix up. It was probably just managing to get the Edge Dodge out in time. It was definitely died to that point. Just pop his right in front of his face. Um, but well, he doesn't want to approach. Manages to catch out with the, the lingering F snap. <laughs> this pressure is like. Oh no! This, this, this is a really unlucky situation. But e even if uh, Mikko went on to ledge there, it was still a really dangerous situation because you still have to wait out the Giga Flare and Sephiroth's just waiting there. Yeah, I think we're just running it back straight onto PS2. Yeah, um. I was thinking maybe Mikko doesn't want that for him, so Sephiroth just seems to be really dangerous. Oh, we got the hero swap. Okay. Interesting. Right, I'm not sure if Mikko's going to uh, hear out in there. It's nice to see more target diversity. Hits him with this. Uh, yeah. I, I was I was like kind of anticipating some like really scary setup with like this news, but I think it's too early for that to kind of come out. Yeah, Yawasobi is um I think just very very good at getting you to. Hold up his shield against the long distance attack, and then also pressuring with like the side of the um, and then just kind of like going into the, with a move or like even running up to grab you. Very, very. Nice catch with the attack. That move always gets me. <laughs> yeah. See if we can get some frame one. Yeah. Yeah. So good at covering that, um, the aerial space if you kind of go to the center. Well, we got bounce out. Probably stop Yasabi from using Spivey or. I wonder if it reflects on the down P as well, because I think that's like kind of a projectile. Oh, nice. Good, good overshoot with the dash attack. Catching the roll back. Oh, wow. There we go. We got the, we got the kabooms coming out. That was like... Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that F tilt is always the killer at the ledge, but I'm pretty sure Mikko only hit Yaosobi with like three different things and put him on like seven. <laughs> Frame trapping. Oh, no way.
Dolly is just jumping up in the air with the wing. Wow. It's not over, it's not over. <laughs> Oh wow, I think we just managed to add on that. Dash attack again! If you we, we get we get a crit or something coming in front of us. Oh okay, yeah. Really good stuff from Mikkel though. Um, the last time he will take that we hope, but honestly like some really close points there. Yeah, we can see uh, just the, the the empty hops and then finally finishing it off with a bear, well timed bear. Yeah, good stuff from both players. Um, really looking forward to seeing more of both of these. Players.